when you create a DNS zone in Azure, you will notice that Azure has assigned certain name servers to your zone. Those name servers are something that you can see on the top right hand side here. The easiest way to see the name servers assigned to your zone is through the Azure portal. In this example, you will see that the name server is NS1, 2, 3 and 4. They usually have a suffix of dns.com, dns.net, dns.org or dns.info. Now these have been randomly assigned to your Azure DNS zone. You can also discover the NS records with the PowerShell. So you can use get hyphen Azure RM DNS zone and get hyphen Azure RM DNS record set commandlets to retrieve the zone information. Once the DNS zone is created and you have the name servers, you need to update the parent domain. Parent domain is where your domain is registered. For example, alphabeta.com may not be always registered with Microsoft. It is probably registered with GoDaddy or BigRock or HostGator. There are several registrars as on today. So you need to log into your registrar and use their DNS management system to update these NS records. So in the DNS management page of your registrar, you will edit the NS records and replace the NS records with the ones Azure DNS has created for you. When delegating a domain to Azure DNS, you must use the name servers provided by Azure DNS. You should always use all four name servers regardless of the name of your domain. 